two. Hopefully this takes better. Um, this is like entirely to help me have good posture and keep my my head neck up to like keep alignment and everything. Like I'm using it like that, but like it's not comfortable, so I might like kill it for right now. Okay, so Frozen. And the first Frozen the song, let it go. Like it was like, oh, like I can be free to be myself. Like I felt like if I woke up and I felt like I had five minutes of a of a a, a Disney level musical performance in my heart, I could sing it. And 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 that was the energy with which I decided to view getting out of that household. Like like being institutionalized, becoming homeless, like the hardest, worst thing easily that has ever happened to me. <laughs> um yeah, so that got me to thinking, well, I get it. If, and this is why it's so important to do it, if you, what I thought to say was cull the herd, that's not right. If you consciously decide what your diet consists of, you're going to have a smaller selection in front of you. And when you have a smaller selection of what reality at large has in it, it's going to more accurately reflect to yourself to you. So you may not follow Disney movies or care about them or resonate with that, but that speaks to me, and it always has. So that's a channel in which the universe, reality, is going to be able to communicate with me and serve me. So this, like, Disney movie that's like, yes, great, like, the meaning of the song for me is, like, it has become, like, an anthem. Let it go is, like, that's, like, how I start, like, my, like, I'm cleaning, I feel like a human, like, that, you know, like, I don't, I don't do anything more than just like feel like I have a song in my heart, but logically, we're going to break it down for right now, we don't usually look at it, but we're going to break it down for right now. <laughs> logically, what's happening is I'm acknowledging that how I feel and the ability to like putter around my house and clean and, and to feel the love and light that pushes music from me. It makes me feel like I'm dancing even though I'm just shuffling around the house. Like, that, that could be now. <laughs> that could be the way it is now. And, and all I have to do is let go of the past and the energy that I'm bound in that, that ties me to the pain and suffering cycle. It is a very vicious cycle. Uh, that I've been trapped in for <laughs> over a decade now. Um, as far as the physical suffering, the like the mental stuff I've been dealing with has been a lifetime, my whole lifetime. Um, so you know, you really, you really have to examine your life, and like I don't, I don't feel like sugarcoating it. I'm also like very mucusy. I don't see a tissue or I would- oh, now I'm gonna do something super gross. This is what it's like hanging out with me. Okay, <laughs> so you really have to be mindful of what you consume. And maybe that starts at a physical level with what you eat, but Take it to the next level of what you allow yourself to become conscious of. There's all kinds of things that happen in the world, you know, like, you don't, you don't have to participate in them. You don't have to participate in politics. That's like a BS puppet show, like, it don't matter, and, and you should know that. And you should know that on the level that you understand the prison nature of our society, but understand it from the perspective that you are 
the prison guard as well. And you're keeping yourself down. And you look to these distractions because it's easier. It's safer. And I just had like this revelation last night, which is why Into the Unknown is just like, Whoa! that my dissociation feels an awful lot like when I inadvertently travel in spirit form from my body to a remote location and view something going on. Um, this is something, I don't know, I'm just gonna say it, I'm crazy, whatever. Uh, <laughs> I mean, if you think I'm crazy, like, I'm just not for you, that's all it is, and that's okay. That's okay. But, um, I, uh, what I pay attention to, I, I become entrained with and who I pay attention to, I, like, become, like, linked with. My mind attunes to theirs, and we share a wavelength, and this is especially so with creatives, and I'm, like, so nervous that it's not recording right now, it's not funny. Um, so if I, like, if I listen to Miley Cyrus, like, like, just a few times in a day, like, like, I start to, like, click back in with her, and then I'll, like, see what she's up to, um, remote viewing, you know, not intending, not intending to go spy on her, and I, like, I don't want that, I'm not, like, dishing on it or anything, but, like, I just, like, I just, you know, like, get glimpses, and, um, the Antwort is another one that I sync up with, and I think that that's, I think it's very much more ninja than Yolandi, but, Honestly, like, I, I can't tell because, like, the, the fact that, like, how come I can never see Yolandi? Is it because I'm looking out of Yolandi? <laughs> you know, and Yolandi is a created character. The woman, that's not her name. And Miley, that's not her name either. And, and they are, uh, maybe vessels to, uh, communicate truths and that light workers can access. And I think that, like, dark workers can probably access people that, that reach, um, that reach like that as well. I think maybe there's another piece that she stands on, and that's why she's not standing up and she's making me hold her. Okay, now I've done that. Um, so, like, unelegantly, too, right? <laughs> Keep it out of your mouth. What was I saying? Oh, yeah! Like, I remotely view people, and, um, it's cool, it's weird, it's uncomfortable if you become my friend because that happens, and then, like, like, in close proximity, I don't realize I'm doing it, and, and I hear, like, thoughts of yours before you say them, and it's just, it's uncomfortable, um, unless, you know, you're really, really comfortable with me, and I've, I've, you know, had... I've had that experience where, like, you are comfortable with it for a while, and then it's like you feel like you're invaded, and I cannot help that. And my darlings, do not feel invaded. You are of me. I am of you. We are sharing a wavelength. And, and so these wavelengths that you're tuning into, they affect your vibrational intensity, and they are the building blocks with which you create your future reality, and they are the tool by which the universe communicates to your present reality. So it's really important to um, cut back on negativity and, uh, like, everywhere that you find it, everywhere that you feel it. And it's not just that, like, I was just thinking while I was doing the dishes, like, oh gosh, the cleaning, and I, don't, and I was thinking, like, of all kinds of things, and I just, like, landed here, where I was like, oh gosh, getting rid of, like, video games, and, and I was like, you know, I've been faulting myself for not getting rid of all my video games, because I'm physically, so far, still unable to enjoy them, um, and there's kind of, like, this thing where it's like, ah, I live in, like, my own Twilight Zone, like, nightmare world, I have all the video games and I can't play them, like, the guy with the broken glasses in the world of all the books, you know, and, and I was like, wait a minute, like, 
what if that's not what my attachment is about at all? What if I don't want to run from this thing in my face that says, you're dead, <laughs> you died, <laughs> like, this isn't you anymore. I mean, just like talking about it, you know, like, like, I don't want to cry every time I think about a video game and, and, and I, I have cultivated and narrowed down and just like gotten rid of stuff, like trashed it, sold it, given it away, like a lot, a lot, a lot with the parameter that if it doesn't make my brain light up, if I don't feel like a spark that starts my consciousness in a forward, momentum, present, centered awareness of gratitude for the life I had, for the life I have, and for my future, then I don't want it around me. So like, if it doesn't like, turn me on, I don't want it. And, and so like, it depends on how like, strong or weak I'm feeling as far as like, emotional vulnerability, and also like, how physically disabled I feel in that moment when I like, notice like, Oh, like, that's my favorite video game that I haven't been able to play for a really long time. But you know what? I remember it! I remember it so well, like, I can just, like, sit here and close my eyes and it's, it's like I'm playing it. And, and that's how I feel about the TV, um, like, movies that I really like, but they're, they're not, they're not a good influence on me. If I wouldn't let seven-year-old me, or a seven-year-old child, or younger, view it, I don't either. Because I am very impressionable in the way that perhaps I'm not in the brain development where I'm a sponge that is programmable. Children are absolutely brainwashable until the age of seven. Like, they are completely programmed by what they are exposed to in media and society and family. My vibration is affected that uh, sensitively. And, and I think that that's probably, like, one of the things that, that gets an identification with the borderline personality disorder diagnosis, is that I, I fluctuate rapidly and dramatically. I mean, I, I can go from here to here, if uh, high vibing and low mood, <laughs> like that, but you know what? As above, so below. I can come up that fast, too. I can be just bawling on the floor, like, like have an associative memory, or, or point myself in a direction of positivity and just, like, recover like that. So, um, yeah, it's, that, that was what I wanted to share. That was what I wanted to talk about. Um, narrow down what you're looking at, and what you're looking at will show you you, whatever you are wanting the universe and reality to reflect to you so that you can grow and work on what you're working on and grow in the areas where you are intending to grow. Set your intention and reflection is going to be eerily accurate. I just had like such a sick synchronicity that it like geeked me for a second and I was like, and like, ah, 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 and my like gaze next fell upon a Masonic Lodge. It was just like, what? You know, and like, I think like we have to let ourselves feel that. And one of the things that I do is I just like, oh my God, like I laugh about it. I laugh about it. Like in that moment when I experience that sick synchronicity that's like, Bam, 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 bam. Whoa, I can't deal. And then like, bam. It's like, oh shoot, universe, you got me. Like the universe like has me in its sights, and like that is always a mirror, yo. That is always a mirror. If it's looking at you like that, you are looking right back. So like, like, just laugh. <laughs> Cause it is crazy feeling. It is crazy feeling. And these are the things that that I have had to really work at being mindful of and, and reminding myself that I know all about crazy.
crazy. I know I don't have no psychotic disorder. I know I don't have no schizophrenia diagnosis. I have schizophrenic symptoms because I am spiritually, psychically gifted. And until I start looking at that gift with joy, it's gonna feel like a curse. So, yes, into the unknown. <laughs> Which is not the pitch of it, and I don't want to try the pitch of it because I'm like hella mucusy. Like you hear my voice right now, like it's not gonna sound good. But yeah, that um, that is what I wanted to share. So thank you so much for tuning in. Um, be sure to uh, comment, like, and if you dig my vibe, subscribe. Uh, I would love to hear what you think. Um, if you have any suggestions, you know, like things that we might not even be realizing that are bringing our vibration down, like, for me it's like really, really like basically like scary movies. Um, so much of the rap that I like is like, mm, that is not contributing good vibes to society. Like, if I wouldn't raise a child on it, if I would not raise my child on it, I don't participate in it. We are still children, and we do ourselves a great disservice by trying to pretend that we're adults, and oh my goodness, I've like talked to people and like they actually thought, oh, they actually lived their child lives thinking that like adulthood was like a, an end, and, and that adults knew what was going on, and like had this, and it's, uh, and I'm just like, Wow, wow, because I never did. I came here and was like, what? This is the most regressive, like, backwoods planet I've ever been on. <laughs> and, and, and I love it. I love it. I love being here to watch everyone grow and everyone wake up. And it's just, like, the most beautiful thing. So thank you for waking up to me. I just woke up. It's, like, noon or something, right? Right, 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 right.